Hey y'all, Doc T here with Melissa. Hi guys. Uh, <laughs> she's working away on a horse that has had a broken jaw in the past and it's really not making any difference in this horse and the way it's eating. Uh, also in the background someplace. Um, Chelsea, Chelsea, somewhere. There's Chelsea, you see Chelsea? Step, step over, say hi. <laughs> okay, um, our vet student from Iowa. Anyway, I'm just going to sit here and talk about a horse that we did this morning. Uh, it's a um, mare that uh, is in great condition, doesn't have any problems, no chewing problems, uh, does all sorts of things that are just normal for a horse, gave no indication at all that the horse had any problem. And worst of all, the horse is at my house. All right, so it's, it's a, a horse that my wife and I see all the time. She sees it, she's an excellent horse person, and she knows when the horse has a problem. There is no problem with this horse. It's chewing everything in sight. We have a nickname of Hoover for it, so it sucks up everything. Um, no bad breath coming out of it, nothing. And the last time the horse was seen was about six or seven months ago, and we went ahead and, and, and prepared this horse for the student to work on, uh, Chelsea, and we stuck her hand in, and oh my gosh, it had another broken tooth. This is the second one on the um, same side as the tooth right next to it. And a piece of the tooth is actually sticking down and toward the cheek. And it, there's no way that this horse could be a, a chewing comfortably. Now, this horse also had a, a special way, I guess is the best thing I can say, a special way of uh, dealing with me, <laughs> which is like, doesn't like me, uh, and just seems kind of, uh, disturbed and, and upset about things. So we automatically drugged it, not just with painkillers and sedation, but we also added an anti-anxiety drug, which everyone knows is Valium, which really works on these horses. So the horse became very relaxed and allowed us to get in there and start looking um, at, at this mouth. And it was really demonstrable that after we were able to take this broken tooth out and, and remain uh, basically a socket when we were done, with just regular uh, mild sedation and basic tools, we were able to get this tooth out, and the horse actually showed gratefulness. It was like, oh my gosh, why haven't you been in there before and taken care of this tooth? And the point of this is, there was no outside signs that even professional horsemen would have seen. It ate everything, it had no chewing problems, nothing. Yet this horse was in chronic pain. And that's the thing that I'm trying to get across to you guys. Just because your horse doesn't really show it, they might be more stoic, and this horse was very stoic and just been grumpy, and I'd been interpreting it that the horse just didn't like me. But in reality, the horse was in a chronic state of pain, and we were able to take that tooth out, and I'll let you know in the future whether this horse starts to like me again. Uh, we're kind of looking forward to it. But um, it, it was basically the horse was in chronic pain every day it was chewing. So anyway, uh, let's see what else has happened today. We've had a couple other horses, great horses, new horses to do. Oh, a bottom wolf too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wolf teeth are those uh, vestigial teeth that sit in front of the uh, first cheek teeth. And normally there's two on the top that sit right in front of the first cheek teeth, but they can also have two on the bottom. And this one had one tooth that was sticking on the inside of the lower left cheek tooth, uh, number 306. And that was so cool to find. It was very small, uh, but very definitely there. And another thing about this horse was it was a mare with canines. And canine teeth are always confusing with wolf teeth for a lot of people. But canines are only in male horses. But here's this female horse, a mare, that had canines. And mares with canines are kind of like women that look a little bit masculine. They're usually very confident, uh, dominant, demanding, dictatorial, uh, do it my way type uh, personalities. They're just very confident. I hate to say style like but they certainly more stallion like than um, uh, most horses most mares and that horse just stood there was very uh, allowed me to get in there and actually um, work on on the teeth and, and pull that wolf tooth out without having any drugs so that was really cool anyway so here's Melissa working on tiny tiny's about 17 hands <laughs> and uh, we've been doing this horse for years and we just want to check in with the cool things we just saw just today. A broken root, uh, a fractured cheek tooth, and a horse that showed no outward signs that it had a problem, yet once it was gone, showed tremendous gratefulness. We were able to take it out with just routine drugs and a little bit of um, um, uh, just manipulation with some basic uh, forceps and a, and a pick. Uh, and then... I don't know if you guys can <laughs> see Tiny right now, but I just took off a really sharp spot, what we call old horse tooth. And he is just feeling it with his tongue. 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, <laughs> he, they, horses that are really comfortable tend to just lower their head to the ground and just show gratefulness, just like that. And you can see him just licking his lips a little bit. He's playing with his tongue, he's crossing his jaw, feeling it. An old horse tooth is the first bottom cheek teeth, and horses that are about 17 years old on up will have worn their tooth down. <laughs> They've well, worn their tooth down to um, the root system, and so they start getting a, a, a new, uh, different edge. Um, anyway, um, I'm standing out next to the back window of the stall, so we're, t we're backwards because there's no cell signal. Hopefully, you guys can see it. And um, hi, Shelly. Hi, everybody. And listen, if you guys like this, can you just do some thumbs up with it? Can you spread it around and let people know? We're, we're trying to teach everybody how important it is to have equine dentistry. And just in one day, in uh, two horses, we got mares with canines. We had lower wolf teeth. We had a horse that wasn't showing any signs of... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, thanks for all those thumbs up. That is really cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> there's even a heart. Thank you so much. We really appreciate this because we really want everyone to know how important it is to take care of horses' teeth because they may not show you overt signs that there's a problem, yet when you take away the sharp edges, they suddenly become uh, just so grateful. Uh, and I didn't even get into the horse personalities that we've seen and how we worked with all these horses. Uh, they're just amazing. All right, so that's about it. I'm going to like sign off now. I'll get this horse finished up. And uh, we're always grateful that you're tuning in. Please, again, like us. Uh, share this. Share this with everybody that you can. Um, and um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Um, have a great weekend. If I don't, bye.